Hi friends! Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a really cool project. It's called a diorama. So I remember when I was a kid my favorite project in school was making dioramas. Um, usually we would read a book and then we would make one based off of the book we read. But instead today I thought it'd be cool if you guys pick any environment you want and made a diorama that way. So it, when I say environment, that means you can pick underwater, you can pick the mountains, you can pick the desert, you can pick the jungle, any kind of environment that you want to do, okay? So what you're gonna need for this project is a box. So this was a normal box, but I cut the side off, okay? So that's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna get a box and ask a grown up because it's kind of hard to cut cardboard to cut one side out. So that way you'll have a box that looks like this, okay? It doesn't have to be big. Mine's mine's just a regular size box. You can get these from something maybe somewhere in your kitchen or if your parents ordered something from Amazon or something. Um, a shoe box could even work. So go ahead and get your box. Then you're also gonna need crayons, markers, color pencils, paint, anything for coloring with. Um, scissors, pencil, and paper. So the paper I'm using is cardstock. It's a little bit thicker paper. Um, if you wanna use cardstock, you can. If you don't have it, you can just use regular paper. You can use construction paper. I just don't have any construction paper. So once you get all your supplies, um, then we are gonna get started. So first you're gonna pick what kind of um, environment you want to do. So I'm gonna do underwater because I love underwater scenes and I think that would be really cool. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to cover your box with paper, okay? So cover your box with paper. You can use staples or you can use tape or glue. I would recommend um, probably tape, but you choose what you have at home to use that. So go ahead and get your materials, cover your box with paper, and I will show you what's next. Okay. So you've got your box and you covered all the sides with paper. See how I did that? So the next step is you're gonna decorate it. So I said I'm doing under the water. So I am gonna decorate my box to look like underwater scenes. So I'm gonna take maybe some green and you could color whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna do maybe some seaweed here and color that in. And maybe I'm going to do a little bit more seaweed. Just whatever you see under the water. So if you're doing maybe the desert, you might draw cactuses. Um, if you're doing the jungle, you might do some trees. So whatever, maybe you want to do it this, um, in the snow. And so you can do like snowmen and things like that. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and just decorate it. I'm going to draw some bubbles on mine. Um, and after you get the um, landscape, right? So after you get what the area looks like, what kinds of nature is there, then you want to do what lives there, right? So under the water, we know that fish live there. And we know that sharks and dolphins. Um, starfish. So I'm going to just draw a little fish over here. And then if you want, you can get imaginative and you can do like a mermaid. Um, you can do any kind of underwater. Um, like maybe you want to do Aquaman because he's a superhero that goes underwater. So you can get creative. So whatever you want to do. So you're going to decorate your entire box. Take your time, do as much as you'd like. You're gonna do all three sides, right? Because we cut off the front. So you're gonna decorate all three sides with your scene. So like I said, if you're doing the mountains, maybe you'll have trees and squirrels and things like that. So think about your land and think about what lives there, okay? So why don't you get started with that and then we'll come back for the next step. Okay. I finished the outside of my box. So as you can see, I did a little shark and a crab and a starfish. Um, and I did some fish <clears throat> on the back. And on the side, I did some jellyfish. So yours will look different than mine, that's okay. So again, 
you have the terrain, what the land looks like, and then you have the things that live there, okay? So now that your box is decorated, now the fun part is the inside. So the inside is gonna be a 3D version of what you drew on the outside. So in this part, you're gonna be able to, so this is up to you. You can line it with paper again, like how we did the outside of the box, so that way you can draw on the inside. If you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. You can paint the inside of the box. So maybe if you're doing underwater, maybe you wanna paint the inside blue. If you do that, then you're gonna to have to wait for it to dry before you can decorate it. Um, if you're gonna do you know, mountains, then maybe you wanna do the inside green or brown. So totally up to you what you wanna do. But after you've covered the inside however you want, or if you just wanna leave it plain like this, then you're gonna start making creatures, okay? So you're gonna take a piece of paper you're gonna use your pencil and you're gonna draw whatever things you want to be inside. So we can do exactly what we did on the outside. You start with what the land looks like. So I'm gonna draw seaweed, I'm gonna draw rocks, and that's what I'm gonna start with first, okay? So draw the land pieces that you want to be inside on your paper and cut it out. Then I'm gonna show you what to do with it so it looks 3D. Okay, see you in a sec. All right, I finished mine. So this is what it looks like. So see, I put my fish up here, that's 3D. And then I added some little plants you can see inside there. So you can do yours any way you'd like. You can put some 3D stuff on here if you'd like, and you're gonna make your own little scene, okay? So take your time with this. This project can take a long time. You can get really creative, um, and you can even use it to play with your toys. Um, just a really cool display. So go ahead and um, keep working on it, keep designing it. And if you'd like, I'd love to see it. Um, send me pictures, um, email it to Miss Marnie. I'd love to see what you guys create. And I will see you guys later. Bye.